second titration. Um, I kind of like this one. So this is potassium hydroxide, and this is a strong base. And when you look at your lessons that we went through, how do you know it's a strong base? Group one metal with a hydroxide. These are the only strong bases we need to worry about. There's only six strong acids. Hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, nitric, perchloric, sulfuric. This isn't one of them. In fact, it's vitamin C. It's ascorbic acid. Um, so it's a weak acid. Strong base plus weak acid gives you water and a weak base. So when you neutralize this, you think about it, that potassium is going to come off. And actually in solution, it's really this. And just to spin this forward, C6H7O6 minus plus water is going to do this. It's going to reform the original acid and make hydroxide. Oh, so when I neutralize this solution, neutral doesn't mean neutral. When I mix these two things together and completely knock it out, my pH is actually going to be a little bit above 7. It's going to be a basic solution when my moles equal moles. Cool. Okay, so in my beaker, I've got 0 0.0012 molar vitamin C and 125 milliliters uh, of it. And I need, and I've only got 0 0.0016 molar KOH to use. So I'm going to put an indicator in here. And when I perfectly neutralized uh, each uh, neutralize them. I'm going to get a color change. What volume of KOH should it be when I've completely achieved one mole to one mole? Two ways to do this. First, the cheater way. The <laughs> Dr. K is not very proud of you way. Moles of acid, molarity of acid, volume of uh, acid, molarity of base, volume of base. Well, I can plug and chug. And again, I understand when I do molarity times volume, I'm doing my volume in milliliters. That's going to give me something called millimoles. I'm not really having to think. Point oh oh one two times 125 equals 0 0.0016, the volume of my base. It's an algebra problem. Whoop-de-doo, look at me. The volume of the base I had to add was 93.75 milliliters on your burette. It's probably 94 milliliters. I didn't have to think. I like thinkers. I like people to analyze. Let's think about stoichiometry. Let's think about pieces. Okay, let me look at my acid. And I say, wait a minute. I've got molarity, I've got moles, I want a volume and I want in liters. Oh, well, I can do this. I can do this all day long. I know I've got 0.012 molar. I don't know the moles of my acid, but I sure do know that volume of 0.125 liters. I multiply, I say I take 0.00, one two molar, point one two five liters. That's going to give me moles of acid of my vitamin C. Well, that winds up being one point five times ten to the minus fourth moles. Again, 
one-to-one -one reaction. I need as many moles of hydroxide as I do of vitamin C. Oh, moles of vitamin C equal moles OH minus. Okay. Molarity equal moles over volume. Oh, well, in this one, it's a little bit different than what I had last time. Last time I had a volume but didn't have molarity. So I got 0 0.0016 molar solution. I got my moles up here, 1.5 times 10 to the minus fourth moles. Boy, that's not showing up so great. Let me write a little better. Mazel tov. And I don't have my volume. Oh, well, I can do that. So if I multiply each side by V and then divide by 0 0.0016, it's like it's swapped. So my volume is going to equal 1.5 times 10 to the minus fourth over. 0 0.0016. Well, I can finish that now. My volume equals 0 0.09375 liters. It's the same thing. That's 93.75 milliliters. And now you've shown you know how to use the concept of moles equaling moles. It's a better way to do it. Well, is it a little bit longer? Yeah! Is that why I want you to do it? No. Let me get this a little bit better written here for you. Oh my God, that's so much better. I can even see it on the board. Longer isn't better, but anything that shows mastery of the concept is better, okay? So, you got a couple problems in the work I've given you, and I've given you a couple of lab problems that my daughter and I modeled in the lab for you to do. I would recommend doing it this way. Longer, yes. Better understanding, yes. Okay? That's it, guys. Good work. Happy for you.